Do you always feel like you need to rub your pecs out? Do you feel like your shoulders are being pulled forwards? Well, this video is going to show you how to open things up and make it stick. We're going to clear the space, first of all, with the pecs. How we're going to do that is using the straight arm pec stretch. So all you're going to need is a wall. And what we're going to do is get away from this position. We're going to externally rotate. So we're going to turn the palm up to the sky. And what Jenny's going to do here is put her wrist at the side of the wall. From there, she's then going to turn her body in so that she starts to feel a stretch along the pec. Not at the way of turning the shoulder in and then starting to shove the actual shoulder into the front of the socket here. We want to make sure we're actually getting the muscle, okay? From there, she can then have almost like a little wiggle into that position until she feels the best stretch. Breathing through the nose and relaxing. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna call this like the middle range. We're gonna go for three different positions here. So if Jenny got a nice stretch there, we're starting to open things up. You have to think about how much muscles actually move. She's now going for a lower position and she's then turning into that again and starting to get that nice opened up position and thinking about pulling the shoulder back a little bit, breathing, keeping the neck relaxed as well. And then the last position will be up a little bit higher. And then same idea again, nice stretch in the pec and rotating yourself into that position. Again, not internally rotating the shoulder. We don't want that. We want everything nice and open. So we're stretching the muscle and not shoving the joint into a position. We'll then turn around and we're gonna do that on the other side as well. So three different points. You can play around with it each time you do it until you're basically looking to see where you feel the best stretch. Everyone will be slightly different whenever they do this. And you're making sure that that shoulder blade is coming across here. And again, if Jenny shows us from the back, internal rotation here. We don't want that shoulder blade lifting up in this position. We wanna make sure that we're having that pec nice and opened up. And really, really nice and relaxed breaths in our three different positions. Once we've opened up the pecs a little bit, we're then gonna bring that down into the biceps as well. If your bicep is tight, you're already fighting a losing battle with the pecs. So what Jenny's gonna do this time, quite similar. She's gonna externally rotate again, and she's gonna push her hand flat against the wall. If you find that you can't even get your palm against the wall, there's a lot of tightness in the entire arm basically. So you're gonna to need to start working on this a lot more often. And what we're trying to do here is relax the breath and make sure that the shoulder is down in a nice position. And we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Keep themselves nice and relaxed, checking that neck again as well. It's very important that you're able to do this. If not, if Jenny just shows if she brings her palm off the wall a little bit, you're just trying to get that arm straight. But if you can't get the palm down, that'll be okay for a few sessions and it will just improve over time. And we're gonna repeat that on both sides. So make sure you've turned the hand outwards like that and you press in. What you'll notice with Jenny's elbows is that they bend down a little bit as Jenny has more flexibility there. So you'll probably only get to more of a straight position like this. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone just go to your own ranges and you're trying to get this to feel as comfortable as possible. So you should actually feel like you can press into the wall and it's not uncomfortable to you. And again, make sure that shoulder is in a nice position there. We're bringing the shoulder blade across and you can turn yourself into it as well. Just similar to the pack stretch at the start, this is just gonna be a little bit more intense um, on the nerves of the arm as well. So nice one to work on, um, and it will, like I said, improve as you do it. Next, we're gonna go into our activation exercises. So everything is nicely opened up. Now we're going to switch everything in the back on to help maintain. So we've got our trusty resistance band here. What Jenny's gonna do is have a soft bend in her knees. She's not looking to use the band to hold herself up. Soft bend in the knees, make sure her weight is nice and centered. She is then pulling the other arm elbow back into this position. We're looking to train this flat open position here, okay? From here, she's then pulling her arm back and trying to match that other elbow. She's not twisting, she's not turning, the hips aren't coming with her. She's staying square on, and she's aiming to feel this in her rhomboids. So from here, we pull back and we squeeze. We pause at the end of each rep, and what we're aiming for is this nice, flat, opened position here. We're avoiding that shoulder running around to the front, same as we were doing in the stretches. So we're aiming to have that pec opened up and strengthening the muscles in the back. And that pause every time, Make sure you're breathing through the nose as you do these, and then you'll just swap sides after you've done 10 reps. So again, remember to sink your weight down, soft bend in the knees, have that other elbow pulled back as much as possible. Make sure that other elbow isn't rolling around to the front. A lot of stuff's just about awareness. You need to make sure that you're putting things where they're supposed to be while you're moving other things. And then we're pulling back and really focusing on one side at a time. And as well assess, is one arm feeling a lot harder to do than the other one? Always wanna be thinking, about keeping the shoulders on the same page.
Our final exercise is going to be the bent over row, but hold your horses, we're not talking about proper bent over rows, we're in our mobility mindset, we're not going to sacrifice range for weight. So if you have a dumbbell and you can't get up to the full position that you could without weight, get a lighter dumbbell, because we're going to do in pauses and we're after that opened up pec position at the front that we were doing in our stretches. So now we're trying to implement that. So Jenny from here is going to pull up nice and slowly, really focus on that middle back position, those rhomboids, and then we bring it back down again, okay? Make sure the neck's relaxed, make sure the breathing is relaxed here. So you're really thinking about good posture. You wanna train yourself in these positions to have good posture, and then throughout the day, you can sit whatever way you want. So it's really, really beneficial exercise. Just remember when you're doing this in this concept, it's mobility, you're not looking to bro rep it. If your arm's only coming halfway up and say it's just finishing about here, you're not gonna get the benefits of it. You're not gonna be training that good opened up position. Your shoulders aren't gonna change position over time, okay? We're gonna do 10 reps like that and then take a little bit of a rest and then you're gonna repeat on the other side. How you put these exercises together into a circuit format is just like this. We're gonna do them one after the other, take breaks as needed. So we're going to start off with our straight arm pec stretch. We're gonna do 20 seconds at the three different positions and we're gonna do that on each arm. Straight after that, you're going into your wall bicep stretch. You're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. After that, we're into our elbow withdrawal banded pulls and that is going to really start to get that strength going. We're gonna do 10 reps on each side with pauses, and then we finish up with our high dumbbell rows, also with pauses, you're gonna do 10 each arm like that. You can do this for one to three rounds, and you can then start to do that three times per week, and you'll notice as the weeks go on that your shoulders start to rest in a much better position and everything starts to stick, and that sensation in and around the pecs will go away. If you're finding yourself always having to rub certain muscles or blaming certain areas, and you want to start having a more full body approach to your movement, make sure to head over to tommorrison.uk, and the best place to start is our Simplistic Mobility Method program. Oh, I'm in a two. Hi. Oh, <laughs>